Ned Ryan's the founder of American Majority. All right, so Ned, I mean, this is a uh, this is a little two step by the Biden Justice Department. You think it's too That's cute? That's correct. Yeah, no, absolutely. Biden's DOJ is is shopping for a judge that will rubber stamp their corruption, the DOJ's corruption, the Biden corruption, and help with the cover up to make this all go away. I mean, when the sweet the, the sweetheart deal fell apart, the whole point of that, Jesse was to make Hunter Biden go away, but also to block the investigation from continuing all the way to the big guy. That was the point of the sweetheart deal. This is their next step. This is the DOJ's next step in the protection racket of the Biden family to find somebody who will rubber stamp it, give a veneer of respectability to it, and say, hey, look, we, we looked into it. We had a judge clear everything. It's all good. But in fact, we know this has nothing to do with the truth. It has nothing to do with justice at all. It has everything with the DOJ using its awesome power to protect its allies and punish its opponents. So you could easily see a judge that maybe wanted to have yes. a nice career, do the right thing in Los Angeles, do the right thing in D.C., and voila, maybe they're on the circuit court. You know, maybe they get a oh. plum appointment somewhere. That's how these things oh. work. But we have to see this memo that Garland wrote about Weiss's discretion. Is he even allowed to pursue leads that flow to Joe Biden? We have to see that. I, I highly doubt that, Jesse, but con the, the, the House Republicans need to continue to perform their Article 1, Section 8 oversight of the federal government, say, you're playing a game with us, Garland. We are not going to back off of our investigations. They should also move to hold Garland in contempt. They should hold Weiss in contempt. Quite frankly, Jesse, they should probably work towards impeaching Garland as well as Biden. Let's, let's go for it. You're, you're clearly sneering at us. You're thumbing your nose at the American people and the rule of law. If you want to go down this path, House Republicans need to step up and say, fine, we'll play this game. Let's go. I'd rather just go after the president. I don't I wouldn't waste my time with Garland, but I understand you, you got to hold the guy accountable. Why don't they just bring him in for a hearing day one when they get back from the six week vacation in September? Bring Garland in, make him answer. Well, what, what, what is that ultimately going to do, Jesse? He'll, he might say, well, I can't, I can't comment on some of these things. It's an ongoing investigation. He'll effusticate. He'll, he'll not be honest with them. I think the only way you get Garland accountable is you start to move first towards contempt and then keep right on going into impeachment. He clearly has no interest in upholding the rule of law. He has no interest in the equal application of the law. He fully intends to use the law and the DOJ as a weapon and a, a political tool to protect his friends and punish his enemies. This man has no, has no right to be the Attorney General of the United States. He's making a mockery of our Constitution, and he's making a mockery of one of the pillars of this country, which is the rule of law. It's time the House Republicans go after him as well as Joe Biden. You're right. He is a part of this obstruction of justice. He's a part of the cover-up, and Garland is going to play a big role in these impeachment hearings, which now, at this point, they have to happen. Ned, thank you. I think they always. have to happen. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.